Glory to God. Now, look at um, Proverbs chapter 3, verse... Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34. Look what it say. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. You know that scripture that say that we say by grace through faith? Now look at this text here. It says that he giveth grace unto the lowly. So watch this here. Even before you receive the grace... You still got to do something to receive the grace. You got to activate God giving you the grace. Watch this here. It didn't even say that he giveth more grace. Now watch this. If it would have said he giveth more grace, that means that he can give you grace without you doing anything. And to get more grace, then you got to do something. But look what it says. It says he giveth grace unto the lowly. The lowly are in a posture with the father. Of showing him their need, their necessity for his presence, his voice, his words. The lowly are the holy. Let's go up to the text before that, uh, the sentence before that. It says, surely he scorneth the scorners. Now, that's a scary statement. Because let me just say this. As a child of God, you can scorn God unknowingly. Here's how that happens. Zacharias belongs to the Lord, right? God tells him Elizabeth is going to have a child. You know what he tells the Lord? He tells the Lord through the angel, well, how could this be? And the angel shuts his mouth, Gabriel. But what's going on here? God is scorning Zacharias because Zacharias is scorning God. So God is telling Zacharias, I'm going to respond to you. In the same spirit that you responded to me. You mocked me. Now I'm going to have people mock you. Because do you know if you can't talk and everybody know you for talking? Do you know that it's very embarrassing? See, saints, I want to take you into the depth of what really happened to Zacharias. What happened to Zacharias, it wasn't that God just shut his mouth. He had to go into the temple with the embarrassment of people looking at him like, oh, you done did something wrong. <laughs> and there was about two Jerusalem sisters that wasn't too saved. They still was ratchet, always gossiping. They were just talking, oh, honey, look at him over here. Hey. Oh, boo. You can't say nothing, huh? You can't say nothing, huh? Boo. Oh, you can't say nothing, can you? Uh, is I'm going to the left or to the right? Am I going to the left or to the right? Am I going to the left or to the right? Oh, you can't tell me nothing, can you? You can't tell me nothing, huh? I remember when you was up there disrespecting me. You ugly. Now, what you going to say now, Zacharias? Zacharias, what you going to say? You ugly, boo-boo. Zacharias was right there having to take it. Imagine Zacharias got into a fight. They was at the marketplace. They got into a fight. Man said, throw him up, throw him up. He told him. Because he couldn't say nothing. So saints, here we are in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34. Surely he scorneth the scorners. The scorners are people that they mock God. And watch this here. What I'm telling you is that scorn is not always those people that's outright rebellious and you know what type of life they live in. Sometimes the scorn is actually you. You can mock God because one minute you go from saying yes to him, the next minute now you're acting as if, how long is this gonna take? When is this gonna happen? How is it gonna happen? And while you're acting like that, you're scorning God and God will let something happen to you. 
where you receive a harvest of scorn so that you learn your lesson. You see what I'm saying? Like, for instance, saints, Apostle Paul, before he was Apostle Paul, he was Saul. He was jacking up folk. He wasn't doing it because he was tiny. He was small. <laughs> All right. So he wasn't jacking up folk. He was having people jack up folk. So watch this. All throughout his walk with God, what's happening? He running from people jacking him up. You caught what I'm saying? He's running from people persecuting him. He's running from people having access to beat him up. Now, watch this people of God. Remember, he was persecuting the church, dot, 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 dot. And he was hurting people. He was messing up their body. He would damage them. Boom, 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 boom. Now, let me say this here. After he hurt people and bruised their body and messed them up, now he has an infirmity. Just a little jokey joke. What if you find out God let you have a little issues because back in the old life, you used to beat folk up. <laughs> what if you was thugging? Huh? What if you were thugging? Huh? Huh? That's just a little jokey joke. Don't take that serious. I'm just thugging. <laughs> thugging. I'm thug I was a thug in the past life. No, I'm, I'm just... I'm not going to play with you. Saints, when they get hot, bugs get big out there, boy. You understand that? Like, they be shack bugs. How many of y'all understand that shack bugs? Big old shack bugs. Like, the hot they get, it be shack bugs out there. Like, they be trying to dunk on you, too. Lord, get your hands off of me. And, and bugs be horny because it, listen. If you ever become a husband, you got a wife, right? You ain't really got to protect your wife from people. You got to really protect your wife from bugs. Because then bugs be trying to, they be trying to molest your wife's legs. Uh, they're probably not the right word for it. They be trying to hump your wife. They be trying to up there all over the place. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you think that you're going to have to watch out for boogaloos. You're going to have to watch out for the bugs. Saints, them bugs, they be they be freaky because they did they just they jump on you like they don't even ask you like they they worse than a rapist. They just jump on you and take it like. You imagine how bugs be talking to each other. I just kissed her today. You ain't kiss her, did you? I'm about to kiss her tomorrow. How you gonna kiss her? She ain't even coming outside. I'm about to sneak into that, that back door. I'm about to sneak into that back door. Bzzz. You lying because she done closed the back door. Bzzz. Nah, she opened up the back door because the air is messed up and she's trying to get some fresh air. She's trying to get some fresh air. Bzzz. So I'm about to go in. When I'm, about, I'm about to go in. I'm about to get it in. I already know what room she in. Bzzz. No, you don't because she got the lights turned off. Bzzz. That's my best time when it's dark because that's where I can get in my mood. That's where I can, <laughs> that's where I can operate in my anointing. Uh, this is, I don't need to be seen. Remember, I'm ugly. I don't look all that good. I'm a bug. You understand what I'm saying? I'm a bug, so I don't need to look all that sexy. No, no, no. I'm coming to get her. I don't need her to see me because then she might see what I'm trying to do. So I, he come. So he go inside of the house, right? Uh, and then all 